Alrighty guys, welcome back to your 15th R tutorial and in this video, as promised, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to read data from a CSV file. So, the first thing that would be handy is if we had a CSV file to work with. If there's only one on the internet for free, oh, what do we got here? I already made one for you guys and what you can do is below this video, there's a link in the description of where you can download this. I made it in um, Google Drive, so if anyone wants to go to this link, then click File, Download as CSV, and make sure you do that because that's the file type we're going to be working with. Then it's going to go ahead and download it for free. So now you can go to your where yeah, your downloads folder or where, wherever you have it downloaded. And the first thing I want to do is actually rename this. So just rename it to BR users with a capital uh, U and copy this and now you're like okay so where do we put it well we can keep it there and then just tell R to look there whenever we're working with files but here's a little trick what you can do is in your R studio you can type git WD and what this command does is it gets your working directory so what is your working directory your working directory is the folder that R goes to first whenever it's looking for files so instead of changing the file path to make everything work what we can do is we can just stick that file in C users Bucky documents of course yours is going to be a little bit different but that's the folder that you need to put it in so Bucky where are you at documents actually documents right here so paste that bad boy in there and now we don't have to have any file path we just go ahead and type the name so now it's in our working directory clear everything out so now that we have a CSV file downloaded how exactly do we read from it guys this is incredibly simple easier than any other programming language first store a name where you're gonna keep all the data that you're gonna read and the function is read.csv probably could have guessed that now the first parameter it takes is what is the file name and of course it's br users csv now the next parameter go ahead and just type uh, true all in capitals right now this second parameter is actually let me see if I can pull this back up if your first row of your data is not the data itself but the headers or the titles of the columns then type true if your data starts right here then type false but our first row of the file is the column names so that's why I put true and the last parameter that it needs is how do we want to separate this data how is it separated well CSV stands for a comma separated something whatever V stands for so of course we're using a comma to separate each item so now what this is going to do is it's going to read all of the information into tuna so we could go ahead and print this out but first let me show you guys something if we go ahead and run this we can see that tuna which was a csv file is now a data frame so essentially what this does is it takes the entire csv file and converts it into a data frame why is that awesome because R has a bunch of crap built in already to work specifically with data frames how stinking easy is that and of course I don't want to print out the whole thing so I'm just gonna print out the head so you guys can see if I run this you can see that indeed it did grab all that data ID first name last name age Bitcoin relationship and guys this isn't actual information I just made like dummy information some samples that we can work with but how easy is that that's how you take a CSV file and convert it into a data frame so you can work with it in R and you want to know something that is even cooler than that check this out clear your console and I'm also going to include this link but this is pretty much just a random CSV file I found on the internet you can grab anyone that is on the internet and what we can do is we can actually read from this without even downloading it pretty stinking awesome so all we have to do is type the parameter or the URL as that first argument so before it said BR users which is on our personal computer but even though this is a file on the internet 
Check this out. Reads from it just fine. How awesome is that? Usually you'd need to, you know, build this whole thing that connects to the internet and pulls it from it, then converts it. Nope, just one little parameter. Just type the name, boom, you got the information. So that is how you read CSV data from your own computer and from the internet. And now that we have it, hey, do whatever you want to it. But in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do awesome stuff like make graphs, make charts, and guys, it's gonna be awesome. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.